Hello and welcome to this video about a brand new mode just announced for Dirt 5 which is called Playgrounds. Now this is a community centric creation and sharing suite which allows you to build custom arenas not for racing but for Gymkhana and checkpoint challenges and each one you make gets its own leaderboard for online play. Now Codemasters and Koch Media have very kindly sent me a special preview build of the game just with this mode in it so I can have a go. So all the footage you see here was taken by yours truly on a Dell G5 5500 gaming laptop rocking an Nvidia RTX 2070 though I must stress that the game is unfinished and therefore not optimised yet in case you see anything odd in the footage. The front end is still subject to change but already works very well recommending the most popular levels a lucky dip selection and a most played section, as well as the ability to search for a specific name, type, vehicle class, publish date, or search by tags. In these pre-release days, of course, most of the levels seem to have been generated by one person at Codemasters, but the dude's done a great job of demonstrating the possibilities here. Thanks to placement of large crates, multi-tiered, interwoven routes between checkpoints are entirely possible, as well as complex arenas for score and more unusual coloured cube breaking challenges. Naturally, the cars in the game were intended to be raced rather than take part in trick arenas, but that just adds to the charm as rally cars struggle with floor holes and elevated platforms, and there's loads of opportunity for repeated time attack gameplay since the tracks are mostly quite short, and it's possible to play with considerable skill if the course has been built well enough, although it's definitely true when they say pride comes before a fall. I really like the way you can make an almost pinball table like smooth road that undulates and cambers and the ability to make multi-story car park-esque spirals which is also really cool. There's a like and dislike function although already in these early pre-release days it seems that a merely decent level will snowball in likes because it's the first one everyone sees in the popular level section and then they play it and invariably hit the like button because they have no frame of reference. But the cream will rise to the top and the recommended levels rarely let me down in the time I've had with it. And there's always the lucky dip feature if you want to find an unknown gem. But of course, you should also try your hand at creating your own course, and the editor is very good indeed. For some reason, I did have to invert both the camera axes, which usually never happens to me, but the wide range of placeable objects, obstacles, ramps and jumps mean that some awesome arenas can be built within the confines of the space allocated with just a little bit of time. There is a limit on how many objects you can place, shown up here in the top corner, but it's not too restrictive. Steve and Enderman from Minecraft used up about 20% of the available blocks, which left plenty enough to make a theme park ride around them, but not enough to actually render an entire landscape. It's also not possible to morph the terrain beyond placing dirt hills, though these can at least overlap to make new shapes, and you can place them in the air. But like I say, the game hasn't been built specifically for this mode, so having such a decently featured editor included is a bonus, but a pretty sweet one judging by what I've been playing. It's fun, daft, and exactly the sort of irreverence that the series has been needing for so long. Well, keep a look out for more Dirt 5 on my channel, and please do take a look around for more gaming videos, as well as music and more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.